James Pierce, director of the ERA, broadcasting from Gateway Sickness. If you can hear this, if anyone can hear this, you are not alone. They came from nowhere. We called it the invasion, but it was an annihilation. This is where the fight begins anew. We are the survivors. We are the fighters. And with your help, we will reclaim Earth. Hey Bs and Gs, hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today's play review will be on Second Extinction, and a massive thanks to the subscriber of mine for mentioning this game to me. Comment what game you'd like to see next, and let's get into it. Now I would recommend jumping straight into training to get a feel for the game, learn how to use your abilities by hitting the left and right bumpers, reloading, switching weapons, and self-healing. After training is complete, it's time to start the game. The range of content will keep you playing for hours, from recovering storage containers, drones, communication relays and campsites, as well as clearing cities, destroying the breeding areas and gassing the absolute flip out of the dinosaurs. Alright, the camp is up and running again. These dinosaurs are nothing like the ones in your history books, from electric raptors to triceratops and T-Rexes that tower over the horizon. These deadly creatures have evolved into the ultimate killing machines. Second Extinction is an intense three-player cooperative shooter where your goal is to wipe out the mutated dinosaurs that have taken over the planet. Teamwork is vital as you adopt the role of one of the survivors using a unique combination of weapons, abilities and skills to take on the vast number of enemies. So are you up for it? Combine your fire team's unique weapons and abilities for an explosive result against overwhelming opposition in challenging combat. This game is still a work in progress, so a lot of content is still to come. My rating for this game is 3 out of 5, only because of how early stages the game is. The graphics are beautiful and the storyline is entertaining. However, uh, is that there isn't a lot of content at the moment, so you find yourself repeating parts very often. The game sometimes drops frames when a lot of dinosaurs are on the screen, but with time and some updates, this game could definitely be in the top 5 games of the year. Truly hope you guys enjoy, and again a massive thank you for mentioning this game to me, and I'd love to see in the comments which game you'd like to see next. Highly recommend giving this one a go guys, and as always, get that good calm with a like and a sub, tell a friend, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.